Hi again, guys. Welcome to another dramatic reading of a creepypasta. Today we're going to be reading The Puzzling Puzzle, or The Old Lady and the Puzzling Puzzle, or something like that. Now then, I have been instructed to read these very, very, very seriously. So I will. Let's get started, shall we? There was once a little old lady who lived all alone in a little old house. With her husband gone and her children with families of their own, this little lady had not much to do with her time left. In fact, she was almost always doing the same thing, every day, all day. She would sit at her little old table and complete her little old puzzles. Sounds boring. One day, the little old lady was looking high and low for a new puzzle to complete as her collection of uncompleted puzzles was dwindling. Now by high and low, does it mean from the top of her shelf to the bottom of the shelf? I imagine she doesn't get out much. After a long while looking, she had found two uncompleted puzzles, one of which was a cat. The other, however, was quite complex. From what she could gather from the box, with her very poor eyesight, was that the second puzzle was of an old man, about her age, sitting near a lake, doing a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Inception. Make sure you got your totem, Grandma. The picture on the box made her smile, as the lake shone reminded her of the lake her husband loved to visit once a month to go fishing. It had always comforted her to know that he had died doing what he loved. He died fishing? How'd that happen? <laughs> Boat sink? <laughs> Sorry, I have to be serious. <clears throat> she had made her decision. Tossing the cat puzzle aside, she promptly shuffled into the lounge and took her place at the coffee table. Taking one last look at the box, she noticed something odd. A shadow coming from behind a tree. And it most certainly wasn't the tree shadow. With her poor eyesight, she wasn't in condition to make it out from such a small picture, and decided it would be easy to see once the puzzle was made. With that, she tossed the lid aside and started placing pieces in front of her. It was after connecting twelve or so pieces that she noticed something quite peculiar. It's a puzzle. Ah. The puzzle she was making had no match to the picture on the box. They were completely different. She could already tell the scene was making was an indoor scene instead of the outdoor scene on the box <coughs> god <laughs> she was a little miffed but the <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> she was miffed <laughs> it's like bam Marger. muffed up dude <laughs> Okay, okay. She was a little miffed, but decided to continue and not let it ruin her fun. On she went with the puzzle. She took few breaks and continued late into the night. This was one of the biggest puzzles she'd ever taken her hand to. She had guessed at around 300 pieces. Not a lot, actually. This was a lot for this little old lady. Oh. <laughs> she was used to doing small puzzles with owls and grapes in them, and nothing else. She had never done a scene like this before. The hour was late when she scuffled off into bed with a half-complete puzzle sitting on the table. As she was lying there in bed, she couldn't shake the feeling like she'd seen this puzzle before, or at least the scene it depicted. As she drifted off to sleep, she decided that it must be somewhere she visited as a young girl or as a young lady. Wherever it was, she was certain she'd been there before. My God. Wait, my god, I've been there before. <laughs> oh boy. The little old lady arose early that morning, eager to continue her puzzling puzzle. Hey, title. She sat in the lounge with her tea and toast, staring at her half-completed puzzle, trying to make out the scene. But she just couldn't place it. She decided there was only one thing for it. She must complete the puzzle, the lickety-split. So on she went with her puzzling puzzle, and by 12 o'clock she was three quarters the way through it, and instead of stopping for lunch, on she went, 
determined to have done it for the next hour or so. She's gonna die of starvation. She's a little old lady. She needs to eat. Oh, uh, sorry. Serious. There were about 20 pieces remaining when it hit her. The puzzle? The previous few key pieces finally relieved the depicted scene. She gasped. <gasps> My god! As she noticed that the puzzle she was making depicted the very room she was sitting in. Uh, after sitting silently for a while, she decided that it must be a custom puzzle someone had made. Though, why someone would make a puzzle of her lounge confused her. But in her mind, that was the only explanation. She proceeded slower than before and started placing the remaining 20 pieces into the very center of the puzzle. Which she decided, if she, if she was needed, if she was indeed seeing it correctly. I can't read. If she was indeed seeing it correctly, would make up the coffee table and the couch she was sitting on. With the last eight pieces in hand, she slowly fitted them to the very center of the puzzle. What they revealed chilled her to her very core. The scene was indeed her lounge, and in the very center was her couch and coffee table. And sitting there on the couch was a little old lady doing a puzzle. Quickly dating her eyes around, darting her eyes around the room. Room, sorry. Her mouth agape, she noticed in the puzzle, a shadow at the window. A shadow that was very much like the one in the box. The detectives at the scene couldn't immediately tell how she died. She died, evidently. All they knew was that she was found face down next to the puzzle box, the cover of which had changed. It now showed a little old lady completing a puzzle in the comfort of her little old lounge. The end. How's that for serious? Well, I have to say I'm a little disappointed at that one. I... I don't know, the one before this, the, uh, the invitation was weird. It had the, uh, it had gross out, it had mystery, it had confusion. This one was just... You could take any scenario like that and make it into a creepypasta, evidently. Like, me recording this video. When the cops found my video, they found a shadow in the background. And he was dead. Creepypasta! Who knows, maybe I'll write one. But... Another thing I want to say, real quick, you know who you are. These don't really scare me. Creepypastas aren't scary. I read these the way I did to get some comedy and some laughs and some kilk kilks out of it. If you don't like the way I do them, sorry. <laughs> but I do respect your opinion. So. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video of whatever I decide to make. Bye.